Oh, morning. Have I started? Yes, I have started. I've been asked to try to explain how I create things using, that look like this, these very colorful moiré patterns in my Sketch Club app. So, um, as you can see, this is in color and they can be all sorts of different colors, but I'm just going to deal with boring black and white. So, color fill white, here I am. So let me find, let me show you how, what the brush, how I make a brush to do this. I'll take my pen tool and I will create an S curve, just a simple S. I'll make it look better than that. Thin, thick, thin. Ugh. I haven't had enough coffee. Let's just do that. No. That's okay. Very, very well. I'm going to make it more ex exaggerated here just because there. There's an S curve. So then I take my little selection tool and I circle it. And I go up here to brush, and I add a brush, add, great from selection. So now I've got up at the top here, I have my, my uh, tools for um, placement of how close these are going to be. So I'm, I'm putting these pretty close together, see, like this, and it like, 7%. That's even too close. But anyway, 5%. And then I do it at offset and make it look like that. So it's broad. I have it completely follow. And then I go over here to pressure. And then I undo that. And now, so here is the here is the S curve repeated, repeated, repeated. And then you get this pattern. And when they overlap, you get a moiré pattern. Like that. Now, the S curve, let me just press down more. This S curve is rather uh, bold, and I don't like that. And it's also curved more than I like. So let me go to one that is much less curved that I've created. That's made of little dots. This one is the same thing, but it's made of little dots. I don't want that. I just want a simple line. Is that the one I just made? I can't tell anymore. Little dots. That's where I just was. Okay, so this is one that works better. So you see what happens when you overlap. Now, when I want to make something that just has a texture all the way across, sort of like uh, silk, woven silk, I'll make the square drawing space very reduced, and I'll start my line way above the square and then pull down. And I just make these stripes. And I'm not really changing the pressure too much. And I'll get these patterns like that. And where they overlap, you get the, the wavy uh, interference patterns that they make. And you can just put them on top. And you'll get more. And then you go crazy and hours pass and you've the work you have to do here I'm using white on top of the black now I can add color let's say I go to red oops that was too much so three stripes four stripes of red coming down and I'll throw some blue over here and I'll go in between sort of and you'll get this when you zoom in it sort of turns to mush but when you zoom out it's okay throw another color in there and 
you can just spend all day long sort of having fun with these patterns. And they sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. It's sort of random. You know, I don't think you can really predict exactly how they're going to work. If you if you overlap color fill white. If you overlap at a right angle, you're just going to get a bunch of crosshatchy stuff going on. You won't get a, a moiré pattern. So you, the closer you are going in the same direction, you'll get more of a pattern. But you can play around with a slight angle of approach, and you'll get a different sort of stuff going on. And you just play around with it in all these different ways. Clear. Oops. There's this button that they have on this app that drives me crazy. It's right underneath the color picker thing and it flips, flips it. And I keep hitting it by mistake. So this is how, how, how it works. So an, you could make a line that's entirely straight. Just a straight line. No real taper to it. I'll just show you what this looks like as a brush. Select it. Brush, add brush. Add, create from selection. This is going to move them close together. This will make a moiré pattern as well, it's just not as fun as the other one is. The S, the S one is more attractive, I think, but we'll see what this one looks like clear. See, they're just next to each other. It works okay. So this is just a, a single straight line. They're not, they have to be closer together for it to work well. So we go up here to our controls. Four, one, two, two. Yeah, so this one, just the straight line, gives you a little bit of st stuff going on. Three. Not as sexy. I mean, it can be maybe if you overlap them. Eh. Does it work? Maybe. I don't know. Clear. This might be a nice brush to do just sort of a drawing with sort of see what happens. And they, these little moiré patterns happen kind of accidentally, which kind of can be fun to play with. But the other one was, was more, ele more fun to uh, actually... Um, okay, where is it? Where's the brush I just had? The other one. No, that has the dots. That's the big one. There we go. That's the one. Yeah, the S the S one is just more fun, I think. Clear. There you go. So that's how I make them. One little S can turn into a fun brush using this app. Ta-da! Now how do I make this thing stop?